I was always uh, an activist. I've worked for 15 years uh, in the field of the rights of people with disabilities. But the feminist activism, the, the street activism, uh, woke up when the government, the Polish government, decided that they want to put a total ban on abortion in Poland. I, I'm the person who called for the national strike in 2016. I have to close my company actually and find some other work because this is too hard to run a company also. The company is being audited all the time and I'm being persecuted. I have 14, I'm on 14 trials for protesting uh, and at least four of them are because I'm destroying the environment by using the megaphone in public. So this is the gray area that is used against the protesters, that there are always charges about something else, about putting out the trash wrong or putting some signs where they shouldn't be and so on and so on. It's never about protesting officially. So it's also the statistics that it's hard to see. Nobody sees that. It's hard to, to, to analyze this. So there are about 1,500 people like me in Poland already. People who are chosen, who are elected, are supposed to represent but they think they are the rulers, they think they can tell us what to do, they think they can decide for everyone. We have this statistic made because we, start, we just started a legal abortion campaign in Poland. The vote for the legal abortion that we had in January this year was about 200 MEPs voting for. And if you see the statistics, the support that we have in, in, like for, in, within people, uh, there should be twice as much. There should be, uh, no, not twice as much, it, sh it should be over 300 uh, MEPs voting for that. They just don't follow, they don't represent, they should be the same amount of vote uh, as there is in people, but they don't do that. So they have to go up to this, what people feel, and they don't just don't do that. They think they, think they can decide because, of course, we are so connected, we are not, but, but they are so connected to the church that they don't represent people, they just represent the Catholic Church in Poland. We started with this uh, anti-ban campaign two years ago and now we have this whole program that is called Poland for Everyone because we're protesting for judiciary independence, uh, we're protesting for women's rights, for LGBT persons' rights, for persons with disabilities' rights. Uh, we organize, we are the main uh, p main persons that are at the anti-fascist, anti-Nazi blockades are women. And that's how many people became feminists within the last two years, because of protesting together for different things. Poland for everyone is Poland that is in the European Union and it's hard to, it's so hard that it has to be the postulate actually with the government doing what they can for the Europe to hate us. Uh, Poland for everyone is, is Poland where there are no neo-Nazi and neo-fascists neo marching through our cities and Poland for everyone is a country that is ruled by law. So we have free media, free elections and free judiciary, that we have judiciary independence. And I think that this is something interesting with all the craziness that we now have with the populist crazy right-wing government, that it forced us to form the program. Because we didn't have that. And we didn't have the need for, to have the Poland that is actually for everyone. We were so happy with the success. We were so happy with the steel and the glass and the new buildings and that we are allowed finally to travel, that we didn't see that so many people are left behind. And so many people feel ignored. And it's about 60% of people in Poland who felt totally disconnected. Almost 70% people in Poland now support uh, abortion to be legal in Poland, and it was just 37% two years ago. So I guess we have to send them the government the flowers because, of course, part of this is this is the craziness. We also kind of buried the dream that people who are there already they represent us. They don't represent us anymore, and they don't even know how to represent. They rule. So this is the struggle now between ruling and representing. We also know and we also realize that no one is going to give this to us and uh, we cannot just negotiate and ask and, and wait. We have to do it by ourselves and nobody will do that because this is our interest. We have to pursue this.
leaving you I will make it through I say goodbye I will ride the sky Just in the blue Far away from you We are the lift off